We are rest in Christ. I welcome you to the third day of our Marian Reflection for the month of October 2022. On this very day, we shall be reflecting on St. Alphonsus Maria de Ligori, who was the founder of the Redemptory Society. We shall be taking our reflection from the write-up of Father Michael Pearl, the Superior General of the Redemptorists. St. Alphonsus was raised to pray before various images of our Blessed Mother, especially to pray the Rosary. Graduating from the University of Naples, he professed the blood oath in court to defend the Marian privilege of the Immaculate Conception. Years later, he renews this oath he had taken solemnly at the age of 16, and he wrote of the significance of this very act in the glories of Mary. As a cleric for St. Alphonsus, it was our Blessed Mother Mary who took him from this world and made him enter the clerical state. He believed strongly in the pastoral practice with Mary because he understands our Blessed Mother as the first and greatest missionary who must accompany his Redemptorist on every mission. The Redemptorists are the congregation of young people he established, whose special object was to honor the Immaculate Conception. St. Alphonsus said, For Mary, no person can be overlooked, no matter how sinful, humble, poor, abandoned, uneducated, or bitter. In St. Alphonsus' paintings of our Blessed Mother Mary, she is portrayed as a young girl in peasant dress with a gentle smile. Mary is seen wearing a straw hat as is her son, the Redeemer. They are surrounded by sheep. She is a shepherd exercising a mission and ministry, and she seems to be delighted that she is leading the sheep to her son who is playing with them. Alphonsus wrote so many works addressed to Mary or about Mary as he writes in the preface to the glories of Mary and repeats on several occasions. There are those who protest that they have a great love for the Blessed Mother, but they do not speak of her often, and they do not speak with her daily. Such shows little proof of love. In the glories of Mary, he wrote extensively about our Blessed Mother Mary. We can point out a few. He portrayed Mary as our mother because Jesus mandated Mary on the cross with a mission to become the mother of us all believers. She is a missionary and it is her maternal care which provides the framework for all Marian devotion. He also portrayed Mary as the mother of mercy because her one desire is to communicate God's mercy and redemption to all. As the mother of mercy, Mary is not only concerned for our souls, but she also points us to the corporal works of mercy and care for whole persons, body and soul. We should have great confidence in her, the queen of mercy. He portrayed Mary as the mother of hope because she is a sign of hope for us all. Just as a mother never departs the space of her children, so God never closes the door to us. As Mary is a sign and guarantee of this hope for each and every one of us, she is the mother of penitent sinners. To her do we cry, poor banished, children of Eve because she obtains pardon for our sins. He portrayed Mary as her help on the last day because she rescues her servants from hell, assists her servants in purgatory and conducts her servants to paradise. Other important areas touched by St. Alphonsus include the seven principal feasts of Mary, the seven dolors, sorrows of Mary, the virtues of Mary, 
the various practices of devotion to the Divine Mother, prayers, meditation on Mary, and so on and so forth. In fact, that book, The Glories of Mary, is a great masterpiece for anyone who wishes to know, have, and develop an in-depth relationship with our Blessed Mother Mary. Saint Alphonsus will happily say, she is our mother, she must bring us to heaven, she must assist us in the hour of death. How unhappy we would be, be this exalted queen of heaven did not intercede for us. Saint Alphonsus will always admonish young ones to strive earnestly to acquire great devotion to the blessed sacrament and to our Blessed Mother Mary. At times, he will address seminarians, explaining to them how necessary it was, if they desire to be saved, always to revere the Blessed Virgin Mary in all temptations, to have rescue, to have recourse rather, to her with confidence. And he would say, I fear very much for the salvation of him who thinks little of the devotion to the Mother of God, and who neglects to seek her intercession. For as St. Bernard well says, such a one closes against himself the fountain of all grace. St. Alphonsus would always say, after the love which we owe Jesus Christ, we must give the chief place in our hearts to the love of his mother Mary. They are resting Christ. In the many sufferings which he endured in the last years of his life, he never lost sight of the Blessed Mother Mary. In the year 1786, one year before his death, he was accustomed to have something read to him from the glories of Mary. In 1762, while in Rome to be ordained bishop, he made a pilgrimage to Loreto, as far as we know, it was the only former pilgrimage he made. In 1787, as he was dying in Pagani, he held an image of her Blessed Mother in his hands. At the sound of the angels, he breathed his last. What a great and glorious saint who honored and cherished our Blessed Mother Mary with all his heart. We must learn a lot from St. Alphonsus de Ligori. Let us pray. We say the special prayer of St. Alphonsus de Liguri for Blessed Mother Mary. O Mother of my God and my Lady Mary, as a beggar, all wounded and sore, presents himself before a great queen, so do I present myself before you, who are Queen of heaven and earth. From the lofty throne on which you sit is they not. I implore you to cast your eyes on me, a poor sinner. God has made you so rich that you might assist the poor, and has made you queen of mercy in order that you might relieve the miserable. Behold me then and pity me. Behold me and abandon me not until you see me changed from a sinner into a saint. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you for joining us today. See you again tomorrow by the grace of God. Amen. <music>